In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to open .alp packages, which stand for Ableton Live Package. So, you're going to open this file once it's downloaded, and the reason why you first of all make these packages is so that they can be a lot smaller in compression, and therefore when you download them, they are actually a lot smaller than the, the actual the uh, folder will be. Like for instance, this one is only 600 megabytes, and compared to the final one, which is about 2 gigabytes, this is great for compression, and it doesn't actually hurt your audio at all. This can be done through Ableton Live, and you can watch a different tutorial on how to do that. Um, so what's going to happen is once you open up that project, that, uh, that Ableton Live project file, .alp, it'll bring you to a window in which you can select where to go and save it. Um, for my example, I located it under the desktop and under just a test folder. Uh, I'm going to save it under there. I'm going to let this uh, process, and I will get back when it is over. So now that exportation of that Ableton Live project is, or package is now finished, I will go now and find where I saved it, which happens to be under my desktop, and like I said before, under that test file. So now we can see, okay, here's the folder that I created. Under that, you've got your samples, your actual project info, and then your Ableton Live session file, your ALS session file. So there's a couple different things you can do with this. If you want to add it to your already existing project, um, like let's say you want to have several different songs going on and you just want to grab this extra session into there and throw it in to combine them two, you can very easily go and just drag that in and drop it in and it'll process and then there, bam, you'll have it right into your project and you can already start it. You can start the track just like normal. Um, or another way to do it is to browse within Ableton Live without ever leaving it and you can add a folder right here in your uh, drop down menu and for instance here I have it under the desktop again under that test folder and I'm just going to add that so there you can see that test folder is right there under my Ableton all the different places that I have on my computer and click under there and drag that same Ableton Live session into my computer and then I can click play and it will start playing the song and that's how easy it is. Thank you.